All right, guys. As you know, I don't push products. I don't do product testing. I don't go in the clubhouse and ask to borrow all the irons and the woods and all the putters and stuff. What I do do is I show you if I buy something. And I bought one of these. It's called the Tempo Trainer. Can't see any manufacturing marks on it, no manufacturer's name. Perhaps Tempo Trainer is the name of the manufacturer as well as the name of the product. I'm sure you've seen these kind of things before. Um, I got mine out of the pro shop. I've been fiddling with, about with it for weeks. And the pro, every time I go in the pro shop, I give it a swing. So I thought, you know, I had some winnings. I thought I'd buy one. Now these are all over Amazon and eBay. They're different colors, they're different sizes, uh, different lengths. Um, I assume they're different weights and different flex as well. Now I can't tell you anything about those because I haven't swung one of those, but I've swung this. Now it, it weighs a ton. You, you can see it's flexible. In fact, even the grip flexes in your hands when you're swinging it. It bends all the way from end to end. And as I say, it is really heavy. The thing I feel about this is that I can swing it to the top and then there's a little pause which gives me a little bit of time to do a bit of this, to actually move towards the target. And then on the way down, I feel that it is swinging me rather than me swinging it. So if I can get in my setup position. Now, being a shorty, this almost touches the floor, but uh, I presume that's why there's a nice big uh, head on this, as well as the weight. It's just in case you do touch the floor. So I can get this triangle going. You know, I'm in my lesson, I'm trying to get my, this triangle and keep this triangle. What I'm trying to do is, is to move this away as one unit rather than that bowed wrist that you see me do. You know, whenever I hit a bad shot, it's that bowed wrist. So I'm trying to keep this going away properly. Get the weight into my right hip pocket. And then with that little weight, that little pause because of the, the heaviness of this, then I can make that little move. And then I feel that this thing is swinging me to completion rather than me swinging it. It is very peculiar. It is a, it is a very funny feeling. I'm not exactly on the flat here, that's why I'm losing my balance a bit. Now what I also think with this, with the lessons that I'm having, is this kind of like fits in very neatly to what I've been taught. Especially if I get my hands tighter in here. Now, what I do know is this is very popular with the old boys. I suppose at age 56 I'm one of the old boys. But it's also a good warm-up tool. You know those times where you pull two clubs out of your bag on the first tee and you're swinging the weight of two clubs? Well this kind of like does the same thing but it does it in a manner where you've actually, where you've only holding one grip instead of two and it seems to help you get that uh, get that little warm up routine going if you haven't got time to go to the range or something I much prefer to go to the range sometimes if all you've got is 5 minutes even if you just get it out of the boot of your car when you get to the golf course and give this 5 minutes I reckon that not only will this warm you up, it'll also get you swinging on the right track. Obviously the proof is in the pudding. I'm playing tomorrow, so, you know, tomorrow morning instead of going in the net and hitting me 27 irons and I don't know where the ball goes and I go to the first tee and slice it in the rough, I'm going to forgo that pleasure and instead I'm going to have five minutes with this. Now the other thing about this, I think, is it's going to be good for building golf muscles especially for someone my age who 
it's basically running out of golf muscle. As you know, as you get older, it, it's far more difficult to put on golf muscle. Because of the weight of this, I can actually try and swing it harder. Try and get some speed into it. With the knowledge that the weight and this big ball on the end is probably keeping me, keeping my swing on track. But as I say, the proof of the pudding will be in the eating. So uh, this is my latest toy. Um, as I say, they're all over Amazon and eBay. I think the cheapest I saw was about £16, but they, they run up to about £50. So, I don't know if this will be any use to you. It's certainly proving a use to me, I think. Not certain. I mean, I haven't played since I bought this because we've had so much damn rain, but... Yeah, I think this is a use to me. What I would say, before you leap onto Amazon and eBay and spend 40, 50 pounds on one of these, you might be better off trying to find one in a shop and actually swinging it yourself uh, before you part with money. This is what I've done. You know, I've been, this has been sat in the pro shop for weeks. Ever since my second golf lesson, I've been fiddling with it every time I go in and it was, it was getting a bit embarrassing that I kept pulling this off the rack and swinging it in the studio without actually handing any money over. So, yeah, I, I, I definitely say try before you buy. Don't just click and then find something that is not useful to you. And I hope this little video is useful to you. At the moment, we've had an awful lot of rain. It's difficult making videos. I've got one afternoon with a bit of sunshine. I'm playing tomorrow. It's going to lamp it down. I'm going to get soaked through again. So this is why I do a little video every now and then. Cheerio.